<laughs> Democrats thought taking the presidency in 2020 was a big win for them. Wrong. They would have been better off letting Trump win. A 2020 Trump presidency would have seen him being stuck with a Democrat-controlled House and Senate. He would have been a bit stifled. Now, he's got the numbers in the Senate to confirm anyone he wants, and he's looking to have the House too. Trump will likely be able to do anything he wants to do. Big beautiful wall, anyone? Joe Biden was able to appoint a Supreme Court justice due to liberal Stephen Breyer playing ball and retiring. But now, Trump is likely going to be able to pick Clarence Thomas's replacement, and maybe Samuel Alito's replacement. And uh-oh, Sonia Sotomayor has been having health problems and might have to retire sooner than later. And guess what? He can pick anyone he wants and the Senate will confirm. No need to moderate the pick. A 2020 Trump presidency would have kept him with Mike Pence and his slew of establishment figures. All that he's been through since he's left office, I'm sure, has awakened him to the true nature of his enemies. And now he's picked up a team of super friends lined up, ready to destroy the deep state, including Elon Musk, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Ron Paul, Tulsi, and of course, a certain based hillbilly. Not to mention, Trump has managed to build his voter base and win in such an expansive way that pundits have described it as a political earthquake. The landscape of the electorate has likely changed in MAGA's favor for an entire generation. So ask yourself, Democrats, was this worth it? Who's next? Bet you wish Trump would have just won in 2020.